Welcome to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today we are going to talk about this interesting foam from Hershey Chocolate for Kisses and talk about the text on the banner and maybe change the foam a little bit with the sub D on this yellow one. Are you ready? Let's get started. We're gonna starting our model from scratch, but uh, for make the form is more accurate to fit into the original, I will always suggest you find a picture so we can trace the outline from there. So that's starting with that. So we are going to use the command for picture, and you can find a Hershey chocolate picture online uh, very easy. Just Google Google it, then you can find some image. I would like to have something that has a clear outline that so we can trace over. Uh, doesn't matter about the size at this point. I'm going to trace over starting from this point. And I'm using the control point curve um, to trace this. It doesn't have to be exactly at the first time, if you cannot get it right, that's okay. We can always change it. Like we can always turn on the control point. Um, you can turn the points on right there and kind of dragging those points back so it will fit it into the outline better. On the top, for the jewelry purpose, I do not want it to be uh, super pointed. I actually want it to be a little bit rounder. So those two, first of all, I'm going to align them first and then I'm going to move it down a little bit. So it will look a little bit rounder there. Okay, so now we have this. We are going to use this point at the top as our basic point. All right, so now we no longer need this image right there. So I'm just going to temporarily hide it. So let's go ahead to hide this one. All right, uh, we want to move this to the center. So that's using the move command, snapping into the end point and type it zero. So it's in the uh, center line. All right, so then I also want it to be bottom to be nice and rounded, um, but I do not want this point stick it out there. So what we can do is we can draw a straight line from the zero and we simply just having that straight line to trim off the extra over there. All right, so we don't need this straight line there. All right, now I feel like this is a little bit kink here, so I'm gonna come back to adjust it. Sometimes it's when you have a picture behind, it's hard to see, but once you get the picture out, you may able to see some kink over some area and then we can adjust it there. All right, so now we have this one here. Uh, we are going to size it into the proper size. This is going to be roughly about 1.5 millimeters. So we're going to go uh, with the 3D scale snapping right here. I'm sorry, 15 millimeters. So snapping right there and just type it 15. 1.5 will be like way too small. Okay, and I'm going to do some adjustment by moving this down a little bit so it's not as pointed. I want them to be a little bit fatter right there so it's better for our casting. All right, so now if you like the shape, I still feel like it's a little bit too flat here. Gonna move out, uh, make it puffier. All right, so to make this shape, we are, let me showing you in the perspective, to make it into the surface, we are going to use the command for revolve, and this piece is going to be revolve 360 degree, and then we'll get something like this. So we have a basic chocolate shape there. Now we need to make that text as well. So let's go back to the picture uh, by showing we were hiding there and I would like to scale it down roughly about this size. And we want to use to trace that line behind it um, for that banner things over there. So I'm going to once again put it here. So let's lock it. So the banner that we have, again, I'm going to use this uh, control point curve and we're going to starting from somewhere from there. I don't have to trace it exactly, but roughly something similar. So I'm going to get something like this. And again, this is in the perspective. So you don't have to trace exactly. You just want to get sense of the scale and something similar to this picture. All right, so now we have those two. Again, we don't need this picture anymore. Let's hide it. 
All right. So now we have this. Um, you might need to adjust it, finding out the curve that you like. I personally like to have a both of the curve with the same point. So I'm going to rebuild this guy. Oops, rebuild this guy. And I wanted them to be the same point. Doesn't have to be a lot. So maybe eight to 10 point is sufficient. Um, but it changed a lot right at this point, right? See, you see there's a deviation there. So maybe I want to do, okay, let's stay with the 12 point and then click OK. All right. Now we have this. If we look at the top view, you see this two curve is completely flat. So we want to uh, turn on the control point and we need to do some editing. Look like those three point is coming out a little bit like this. And those points, I'm going to have them rotate it, follow this direction there. As you can see right there, uh, the one in the middle, this guy maybe come out a little bit. All right. And then you will have this one's kind of dip in right there. This fall, it's going to come in out a little bit. And the, at the end, those I'm going to turn a little bit moving back something like this all right so then you have this little wavy things there and we are going to creating the uh, line in between from here to here and from the beginning one to one here all right so those points if you type it rebuild you're going to see it's only degree one which is a straight line i want to change to degree three and I just need to have four point and I click OK. This one too, we want to rebuild into the same thing. So now I can adjust this. Let's say I want them to go back a little bit like this. And this guy right here is from the starting. I wanted to turn on the control point. And again, those two, it's OK to be flat at the beginning. So, but at least they are degree three. All right, so now we have this. Let's go ahead to creating the surface by sweep uh, two rail. We get rail one, rail two, cross section one and two. Okay, then we'll get something like this. To having a text on the top, uh, let's, let's work on the text first. We're gonna to type it kisses. So let's go to the text object. And then um, we're gonna type it kisses and I like to, them to be bold. Or you can choose to area black to be more close and I want them to be solid okay so let's click OK and we'll get something like this we're gonna leave this one here and we'll adjust it later now for this one the text is going to flow on those two uh, on this surface uh, by using a flow along surface if you just use a flow that will be fine to follow the line that you have, but may not follow the surface, right? So we need to know where the surface area by, by creating UV curve and hit OK, then you will get this UV curve right there. What this means is this is an area represent this area. So let me just... Um, Turn it 90 degree, degrees so it's easier for you to see. Now, anything that fitting into this box right here will fitting into here, right? So I wanted to kiss this to be smaller so that we're able to fit it in there roughly right in the middle. Um, I also need this curve close somewhere in the middle. The best way is actually select everybody that we have here and then we want to that we have here and we want to align to the middle so we get something like that half of the text will be inside half of the text will be outside of that surface all right let's give it a try uh, let's make this into the surface by using the command for surface from surface from planar curve so you can see that is a surface there so that's using flow along surface and make sure all of this is a group, right? So it's individual of them. So I want to select all of this and let's hit enter. We want uh, the base surface is on one of the corner here. The target surface before you click, I want to click uh, record history and the target is on this corner right there. All right, so now you can see like it's kind of a jamming together. So what I like to do is I'm moving my original surface, the text into the place that I want. And I kind of need to uh, spacing them out. 
The reason we want to do that is because our rigid is equal yes. So I maintain the text to be um, not changing the form, so it's not stretching. And somehow because the surface area, so they are kind of uh, jamming each other. All right. Now it's a bit weird. The text seems a little bit um, tilted. So to be, make it visually, ni visually nice, I'm going to individually kind of uh, rotate those texts so they don't look too much of a tilted there. And the ES is fine. So now I have the kisses over there as we can see right there. Okay, now to making this into the thickness, we can use simply just using the offset on the surface. So offset surface and the distance, I would like to 0.75 is fine. Solid is equal yes, both sides equal no, and hit enter. And I will have something like that. Now if this is too thick, um, because I wasn't modeling for printing, so I didn't actually really care about the size, but it looked visually not so pretty. So now I have this. You can you can actually have this bowling out, for example. If you wanted to bowl in different, you can have this kisses, you know, bowling out like that. If that worked for you, um, or you can keep it stick it out and then have a like two tone or, or whatever. So now I can move this one, stick it inside of the piece so will have a good casting there. It will say break the history, but that's fine. All right, and let's take a look on the render view. All right, so now this is our kiss chocolate. Now, another thing that we can do is having a little bit texture on it, right? So I'm going to hide in this guy and we are going to moving everything beside that original curve. And just for the comparison, um, I'm going to So I'm going to make something, make a copy there, and I just did it this one. All right, I'm gonna keep this kisses like right there because we're gonna use the same to so just lock it. Now we wanna use the sub D to create this one, but first of all, we need to make this curve into sub D friendly. So under your Rhino 7, if you're using Rhino 7, you have sub D tool, then you have this is a make curve sub D friendly. Then now it feel like there's nothing changed, but it is a sub D curve. Okay. In the sub D command, you also have something it's called revolve. It work exactly the same like your Rhino uh, revolve. And then we want to do 360 degree and I work at something like this. All right, let's take a look on the ghost view. You can see it really looks similar, but if you click on this, it will say it's a sub D. Now, how do we making the add, uh, edit on the sub D? You have a choice to pick up the surface and then you can have them stick it out or something like that. But we need to have a something caving and stick it out at the same time, right? So what we like to do is we wanted to pick up anything on this row right here. You can pick up one by one like what we did there. And then you can move in this in and out. But when you move it, you see the neighbor is moving with you, right? So what we wanted to do is actually create additional surface on this row. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to click here and double click and holding your shift there. If you come into the sub D, you have a something called insert sub D age. And then you, the mole right here is group. Then you can actually creating additional one. So if you moving this in and out, it's not changing the shape that much, right? So we wanted to doing uh, all together. So let's do this. I'm going to click on this, double click, again, skip one row, click on this, holding my shift, double click, and again click on this one, holding my shift, double click and repeating to do until you finish the whole circle, right? So we're gonna pick up this one and double click. All right, so once you have everything, I do not want anything, you know, going to the top. So I'm going to deselect by holding the control. Then I will have something like this. All right, we're gonna use the uh, insert sub the edges and we wanna make sure it's the group. Now we have it selected, 
we are going to come into the top view and let's go ahead to make it smaller something like that so then you can keep continue to changing the shape if you that work for you and you can twist it you can have more shape going on and that is within the sub d for sub d editing I have a course for the sub D that teach every single thing about the sub D. If you are interested, you're welcome to check out my course on my website. I hope you like the video, a lot more tricks and tips in the membership program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.